Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Uh, I keep forgetting I have a mic on. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Um, I got my munch pack in the mail. So there it is. Munch pack. This is my second munch pack that I've received. All right. So now for those of you that don't know, I have got, I've got a monthly subscription to this munch pack and it is treats from all around the world. So first thing I noticed when I opened it up was they gave me a, um, straw a plastic a rubber straw and where's my scissors Oop. it's a, a rubber straw that has whew, it's like a bendy rubber straw that has the munch pack logo on it and it says free bonus gift so that was nice Okay, and again, it has the um, little brochure that tells you the different types of munch packs that you can get. Um, ooh. Looky, looky. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, first things is Old Dutch Baked uh, Potato Chips. They're ketchup chips. Okay. Oh, here we go. Of course, we, most of us, I'm sure, know what ketchup chips are, are like. And, but these are baked. And it just occurred to me, the last time I did this video and I tried everything, it was all great, but now I have a mic here. <laughs> so you may get a lot of crunching sounds. I'm so sorry. Woo! <laughs> yep, that is definitely ketchup. Woo! That is strong ketchup. So if you like ketchup, these are going to be good. So, woohoo! -hoo. Yeah. Okay. And these are wrap snacks. Icon. Notorious big cookout barbecue sauce. I'm assuming this is a wrapper. <clears throat> Doesn't say where they're from, but that's okay. I'll try it. Oh, woo. of course I get the big chip. Mm, wow. That actually gave me goosebumps. That is very barbecue-y. Mm. Yep. That is really good. Wow. Woohoo. Goosebumps. <laughs> Yeah, those are really good. Very smoky, like smokehouse type barbecue. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Okay. Now these are Ziggy marinated nacho cheese peanuts. Special edition. Still doesn't tell me where it's from. No, nope, it doesn't say. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
not very nacho-y. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of flavor with these. Yeah, they just taste like peanuts with something on them, but it doesn't fit, taste very cheesy. So, not overly impressed with those. Ooh. Oh my. Hmm, what to start with? Okay, this is called a French crepe, and it's chocolate. Uh, Jacques, Jacquette, Jacquette. And it looks like a crepe, <laughs> as far as crepes go. Hmm. First, the first thing I notice is the squishy. Like it's, it's a real crepe, like. Oh. <laughs> Okay, first things, first off, I don't think crepes should be eaten cold. Second off, when you bite it, all that chocolatey goodness comes squishing out. It kind of catches you by surprise. <laughs> It's different. Um, it almost tastes like, oh, what are they called? You know the, the cakes? Oh, what are they called? They're the cakes that have the squishy in the middle. Oh, I can't believe I've grew up with the darn things. Twink, not Twinkies, not Twinkies. It's the other one, the chocolate ones. It's similar to that. Hmm. That's different. Not bad. It's just different. Okay. This is Nephis Rono Coco. Uh, sandwich biscuit with vanilla flavored cream. Again, not sure where this came from. But it looks, on the package, it looks like an Oreo cookie. Yep, it's pretty much like an Oreo cookie. Yep. <laughs> mmm. Um, you can really taste the vanilla right off the hop. I really taste the vanilla. It doesn't taste anything like an Oreo because of the filling. The filling is way different. It's really nice though. Mm. I know what that taste is. Well, it's vanilla, but you know that smell of ice cream waffle cones? <clears throat> if you go to any kind of a fair and they make the waffle cones from, you know, from scratch, that smell of waffle cone, that's what that tastes like. <clears throat> that's different. Interesting. Hmm. I should have brought a drink in. Again, I forgot. I had it in my hand and then I walked away from it. <clears throat> okay. This is Hanuda. Um... Looks like some sort of a waffle hazelnut 
definitely a different language. I wonder if this is from like Denmark or something. Hmm. Oops. Oh, of course I cut it and it doesn't open it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. You undo it. Yeah, or you cut open the package. And it's packaged on the inside, too. So it has the little packages on the inside. And it's got two of them. Oh, I'll take it out of the package. <laughs> yeah, easier said than done. Oh, this reminds me of those um, those wafer cookies that you can get in vanilla and chocolate. And see the chocolate inside oh i can tell this one's going to be messy mm. Mm. it has the same consistency as those wa those um, wafer cookies the chocolate however is very an in, very intense hazelnut. It reminds me of hazelnut butter. Um, that is really good, like really good. Yes, Haze, that hazelnut butter that you can get. That's what it tastes like. And I tell you, I bought that hazelnut butter once, and practically ate the whole jar <laughs> it was like it was so good so yeah and there's two there's two that come in in the package so mm, that is really good hmm. okay now this looks interesting matilda Vicenzi, Vic, Vicenzi. Um, this is a cream filled puff pastry. There's eight pieces in here. Uh, Tesoro chocolate. I'm not even going to pretend like I can pronounce all of this. This is from Italy that I do know. <laughs> it says right here <laughs> says a sweet italian treat so hmm. okay so how do you get in here <laughs> wow it's quite packed package quite dry. open it up then. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I definitely needed to have a drink in here. Okay. Let's open this up. Very pretty packaging, I have to say. Come on. Oh, doesn't want to give it to me. Oh, you are going to give that to me. Thank you very much. I am going to. Oh, look at that. Holy. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. They're like little puff cake things. That you would see at a bakery. Aren't those cute? Oops. Oh, these are going to be messy too. I can feel it. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> It's like phyllo, phyllo pastry. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very, yes, very phyllo y. You see that? And that's got a little bit of chocolate inside. Oh my God. When you go to bite it, it completely explodes and disintegrates. Like if you were just taking a big chunk of phyllo and just, it was, it just absolutely, it just disintegrated. Just, it was the weirdest feeling ever, but so good. I could see how these would be addictive and it's got like a, a light glazed sugar on top that I have never experienced something like that before that was cool <laughs> it was like it just collapsed and oh melted instantly that was really weird <laughs> that was fun wow i can't wait till george gets home so he can try that because that was really cool <laughs> huh wow that was that was awesome that was a surprise to say the least wow okay now let's get into the candy stuff. Um, koala Sours. I wonder if this is Australia. Spain, product of Spain. Okay. Koala, koala Sour Live Wires. Tongue Painters. Uh-oh. <laughs> This is blue raspberry. Um, am I going to end up with a blue tongue? <laughs> okay, this might be funny. <laughs> oh. oh, the first thing when you open it is blueberry. Like you smell blueberry like crazy. I'm afraid to eat this. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got a sugary coating on it. And you can see uh, the inside. Oh, oh sour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's one of those sours that make your jaw just tense up and you start to salivate like crazy. Mm. Really good though. <laughs> mm. That was really good. Okay, now the test. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> I like a kid again. <laughs> that should be a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> Not. Okay, here we go. Finny Roller Candy. Watermelon. Oh, there we go. I have to I have to say I am a sour sour candy fanatic. I love my sour candies. And this one says it's fat free. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, this reminds me of the the roll <clears throat> roll up candy. Oh, ah, sugar everywhere. It looks just like it. Just like the ribbon candy. It comes in a roll. If I take out this roll, it's going to go everywhere. <clears throat> you can see. Okay, so we'll just break a piece off. Yeah, it tastes like watermelon. It's not the best can watermelon candy I've ever tried, but it'll do in a pinch. Um, it's got this weird aftertaste to it. Not sure I like that. But yeah, it's got this weird, I can't even explain the aftertaste, but it's a weird aftertaste. So that's not my favorite. Okay. And last but not least, these are called Zazzers Rounds in strawberry. They're, well, they're chewy apparently. Let's cut into these bad boys. Oh, these are like taking a horse pill. <laughs> They're kind of in the shape of a big um, smarty. Let's see. Let's try it. Hmm. It's kind of like a peppermint. Oh. Oh. When you bite it. Wow, you get like this weird shot of peppermint and strawberry. And to be honest, it's a really weird taste. I'm not really liking it. I don't think that peppermint and strawberry should be mixed together. It's got this really weird aftertaste that's almost like a rubber aftertaste. Mm. Not a fan at all. <laughs> wow. Yeah, not a fan of that one. And it, it kind of has this numbing, like a peppermint numb feel to your tongue yeah it's bizarre I'm not a fan but all in all you know there was only maybe two that I was like no not a fan of the rest of rest of it I think is great 
these are definitely my favorite. Definitely my favorite. And then my next runner up is these ones. These, these are my next runner up. <clears throat> yeah. So there you have it. <laughs> That's my munch pack for this month. It was definitely fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of doing these videos. Um, I thought it would be something different, something fun, right? And if you live in the area where you can find these, then you can try them too, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so thanks for watching and I will talk with you guys later. Bye. Ah, my tongue. Ah, no, it's all gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>